Look at my cassock. Actually, this is a good example because this is a very old cassock. I've had this cassock for like 25 years. I have held on my shoulder so many of my children when they were babies. If you got a high-powered light and you brought this right here and you looked, you would see the damage that's been done to my cassock. St. Paul lived in the uncreated life. That light almost destroyed him when he first saw Christ in the heavens. When you learn to live in it, you see yourself as you truly are. Paul was living under the radiance of Christ. He saw himself for what he is. He never forgave himself for being a persecutor of the church. I've watched many humans start coming to we have services every day and they start listening to what's being said in the octoikos and they're like what i mean the things we say about ourselves about our repentance about our sins in their mind how could they have peace and feel that way about themselves combining those things is the biggest challenge for catechumens to accept who they really are and to know that god loves them despite that and more than they could ever dream which in my mind are the two truths that constitute a christian disposition true christian disposition